I have a special place on Malau. Uh, we're standing right here, Surfies Point. I call, I call it sort of Stingray Bay. Just around the corner here, there's rocks from a certain point. It looks like a big stingray looking over the bay. And just here, there used to be a big manta ray stingray that lived in this bay here. Surfies Point, that's uh, my connection spot. But all of Phillip Island is in the, right in the centre of Bunbudung country. Heart and lungs of the Bunbudung country is only Caroline used to tell us. I had the luck of connecting with my family when I was 10 years old and been, been connected with my real family ever since. I'm 46 now and it took me to about 38 to, until I met my real father. I met my real mum when I was 10. I was just blessed with the two families that helped turn me into the person I am today. So it's from both cultures. It's been an amazing journey. My artworks, I kind of call it traditional contemporary in a way, but I'm painting my country that I connect to and what I see. Um, and then just bringing everybody else on that journey of connecting to it and just caring for it instead of taking from it. The art practices I do, the collaborative with the students and community is about giving them that deeper connection and understanding of what I'm painting. And usually I'm painting the, our country, so the two bays that Bunbudurang are on, so Nurm, Port Phillip Bay, and then also Murrumbik where we are here in this bay, which is the most important bay, and then all the way down to Wamoon, down to Wilson's Prom. So sharing that deeper connection and understanding of where they're actually living. Um, being able to do like community murals at the Board Riders Club, which is um, the oldest oldest club in Australia, and the they've got the first club rooms. Yeah, the mural I painted there was uh, had Batalit on there, the whale. So we did a mural on the wall and had the opportunity for the community to come in and put their handprints on their on the walls and it's about having that conversation and that more of a personal connection and bringing people on that journey I suppose and so we can have more caring for country on Bunbudan country. And our people have been caring for this country for thousands of years. And I think it's about time to bring um, the wider community on that journey of feeling that deeper connection and understanding what's around them and what they're living on and seeing how they can have a deeper connection instead of getting stuck in that system that everybody gets stuck in. We don't own this country, we belong to the country, so we've got to, we've got to look after it. And we've got to think about what we're going to leave our, our kids, great, great, grandkids. I think the rate that we're going at the moment, sharing that deeper connection is a, a must do. And the elder spirits that still walk on this land, that have been walking on this land for hundreds of thousands of years, that guide us, younger generation, and through this ceremony, I'm hoping that I can give you that connection and able to connect to um, your special spot and which will help ground you and help, help you connect to this local area and the country that you're living on. This one we call Bay Lee. Can I get, get you all to say Bay Lee? Bay Lee. This one is this one represents all the children this plant because this plant needs a host plant for it to grow into a nice strong healthy adult like yourselves 
all that time, how did they keep the country so good? Um, and how, how did we revive it for that long? So there's a couple of things, and what I've mentioned to you earlier, what are those different things that you can do in your life, different changes that will make a better future for you, but also your grandkids' kids. I like to say to young people, think about the footprint you're leaving um, and what you can change in everyday living to make, to preserve it for your great great grandkids. Walk lightly on our country and, um, and preserve it and respect it.